happily enjoyed the soup as I watched the robots on TV beating each other up until... Wait. Why do I feel sleepy all of a sudden? What? Nurse Sayori is going to take extra good care of you. Oh. <laughs> Hello fellow knights and adventurers, Finn here and welcome back to another video. And sorry for not uploading lately as because I needed a one week break from, well, finishing off the 12 days of Christmas by, by VA and it was a hella blast to play and of course I would have done it without J Killen Gaming. So uh, go ahead, check out, check him out in the description below, tell him Finn sent you and of course I'm gonna include it right here or whatever but still go check it out it was really fun and that aside i would like to thank you guys all so much for helping me or well the help and support of 100 subs for this channel and uh <laughs> cannot wait to uh, to make more content for you guys since you guys have been really killing it and uh i i'm just really am happy that you guys have been enjoying my content so far so time to get some things out of the way um i just got a new microphone arm right here so i don't know if that will impact my audio and all that all that jazz and uh yep um you can see it right here and all that stuff but i'm working on it to see if you can uh, you know get some good audio distance out of it or whatever but still, like i said i'm kind of working on that one as well so with that aside let's get into what you guys have been waiting for because today we'll be playing or i'll be playing doki doki night nurse also forgot to mention this i'll be looking forward to play more of va's mods so look forward to that one fellow knights so you guys know the drill and what time is it of course it's doki doki time oh Another unremarkable day of school is about to draw a close. As the teacher drones on and on about Peter the Great or whatever his name is, my eyes are glued to the clock. Once a bell rings, I practically dart out of the classroom. It's time for clubs. Finally! Spending time in the literature club is probably my favorite thing about these long days at school. I always look forward to seeing everyone, especially since they always make me feel so welcome. And of course, and it's not when it's well, if it wasn't for the one and only Sayori invited me over to the club, none of this would have happened. And as well for the rest of this channel, obviously. Well, most of the time. Natsuki is a different story sometimes, but that's besides the point. I step into the club room and find absolutely no one. What's going on? I take a seat at one of the desks and rest my head on my arms. That's strange. At the very least, I can always find Yuri here suddenly reading to herself, but she's not even here. Monica has a habit of being late, but Yuri never fails to be the first one here. Hi, Finn. Oh, Sayori! Um, uh, I know my face is kind of blocking it and all, but she's wearing a blue bow, and that's that's different. Aside from the uh, from the red one she always wears, well, I don't mind that because uh, I think the blue kind of suits her a little bit better. And look, I'm even wearing blue as well, so I guess we're definitely uh, a match made in heaven. Yeah, I nearly fall out of my seat. Sayori, don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. As I get up from the floor, I take a look at Sayori. Something seems different about her. What? Is it? Is it because she's uh, she had a different haircut or the blue bow? It's obviously the blue bow. Don't you? Don't you deny it? Hey, Sayori, you look different today. I do. No, I don't, silly. I look the way I always do. Well, maybe it's best I don't push the matter any further. I don't want to hurt her feelings or upset her in any way. Do you have any idea where, why they're, why we're the only ones here? Hmm, I don't know. I could have sworn I saw you in Monica around lunchtime. Maybe they had to leave early? Then, what about Natsuki? Maybe she wasn't feeling well. 
You have to admit, that's uh, kind of strange though. How could they all just miss out on the club like this on the same day? Well, considering I'm vice president, that means I'm in charge for today. Oh, right, of course, she's the, uh, she's the VP. Miss VP. <laughs> the chain of command. I'm not saying Sayori couldn't, the couldn't run the club on her own, but a club meeting with just the two of us feels weird. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this, but I don't mind. Since no one else is here, we I say we just call it call it for today and go home. Phew. What was that? Um, phew. Yeah, I agree. I thought that's what you said. Are you sure it's okay? Monica and the others aren't just going to show up. I have a feeling they won't be showing up. Besides, Monica will understand. He trusts me after all. Well, okay. There's something about this just makes me feel uneasy, that's all. There's nothing to feel worried about, Finn. I'm sure everyone is okay. Besides, everything will be fine. You're right, Sayori. I can trust you too. I playfully tossle Sayori's hair. Hey! Let's head on out. I stop messing with her hair as I grab my things and head for the door. I look over. I look back over to see Sayori looking out the window. Are you coming, Sayori? Uh, oh, right. I'll be right there. Sayori excitedly rushes up to me as I step out of the room. The walk back home is surprisingly quiet. Sayori is usually very chatty, but today she does. She just doesn't seem that way. It was only it was only recently that I learned that she dealt with depression, so I decided not to push my luck and talk to her if she didn't feel like it. As we get near our houses, Sayori tugs on my sleeve. Could we maybe spend a bit of time together at your house? Oh ho ho! Yes, please. Um, not in the window, of course. Oh. Oh yeah, cause the last time we. Oh. And it was on Christmas Day. Yes, I know. Let's not talk about that. Shut up. Wh what? No. They're going to say that. Hmm. <laughs> of course, it won't go away. <laughs> But not in this mod, hopefully, hopefully not, because of course, let's uh, let's uh, just take a breather and uh, take a break from all those kinds of things you've been thinking in your head. So please, for the love of glob, guys. I haven't been feeling all that well lately, and I could use the company. Oh, of course, Sayori. Yay, thank you. Sayori practically drags me over to my house as she runs to the front gate. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where's the fire, Sayori? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's not like the house is going to get up and walk away, Sayori. I'm just a little hyper today, I guess. I open the front door and we step inside. Sayori zooms past me, already in the living room by the time I shut the door. So, what do you want to do? Oh, back in the living room without the blinds, and it's good to see the other uh, neighborhood for, for a little bit, I guess. Before I can answer her, my stomach starts growling. <laughs> Looks like someone's hungry. Her laughing is cut short by the sound of her stomach growling. I give her a smirk as she gives me an embarrassed look. Looks like someone else is hungry too. Tell you what. Why don't I go ahead and whip up something for us to eat? Oh yeah! Um, I know I can cook, but I guess I could get us a sandwich or something, I guess, or bacon pancakes. Let me do it, Finn. Uh, why? You're already being super nice to me, so it's the least I could do. Sayori, do I need to remind you how you nearly set your kitchen on fire? Oh, 
Yeah, sad. <laughs> well, I've been practicing a lot in the kitchen. Natsuki even offered to give me lessons and everything. I raised my eyebrow at her. I don't remember Natsuki mentioned anything about giving Sayori cooking lessons of any sort. Sayori just gives me a nervous smile as she looks into my eyes. I don't know why, but I relent to her. Alright, Sayori. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Yay! Don't you worry, Finn. You won't be disappointed. For both of our sake, I hope not. Sayori happily skips into the kitchen as I make my way over to the couch. I plop myself down and turn on the TV. Oh! We got you one Bumblebee from Transformers, and I know, I know, I know who this is. And of course, I'm a. If you, if you guys didn't notice, yeah, I'm a Transformers fan, and this one is specifically the War for Cybertron trilogy Netflix Bumblebee. And I, uh, unfortunately, I don't have that figure. I only have Cliff Jumper, which is, I think, uh, um. A pre mold or whatever but still um I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna hunt this uh, this figure down because hasbro loves doing exclusives so please hasbro stop doing it and give us bumblebee for glob's sake this figure specifically stop with the, the exclusives and not only that where's my freaking ratchet i wonder what's on uh, roger Oh, we got uh, we got Super Sonico here, and I can't tell if that's Figma Super Sonico. I I think it is. I'm. That's the third time this week. What? Um. G1 Bumblebee and Super Sonico tier 15. No, nope, nope, nope. Don't don't get any any funny ideas, guys. And um. Um, I'm pretty sure that's like a reference to um, to the G1 Transformers cartoon where um, what's that uh, that red airplane that red airplane uh, minibot's name I, I forgot but I did some research that yes Cybertronians can indeed breed with a human so um, yeah Generation One is kind of weird but uh, I don't know anymore and also Kiss players. Yeah, let's not talk about Transformers Kiss players, guys. Next. What if it snowed in San Francisco? Oh, Kingdom Cyclonus. <laughs> nope. Dad. Oh, Nendroid Link. You look, you look. Do they just put anything on TV these days? This is Unicor Unicorn. Oh, and we got Kill Kingdom Kingdom Galvatron. <laughs> Sorry for being a nerd right now because like I said, I'm a well, I don't know if I consider myself a Transformers fan, but I just I just really like the toys. I uh I um I I I I'm almost finished I'm almost finished to uh, to to complete my uh, my G1 crew. I just need like Ratchet and Huffer, and for the Decepticons, well, I'm only missing Megatron, Soundwave, and Shockwave, and possibly Reflector. I think, yeah, possibly that because I'm aiming for the 1984 crew. But that's enough of that one. That will be a story for another day. So let's move on. Soon the earth, soon the earth is going to be a part of me. I've seen it, but I'll take it. And Galvatron is just meat spinning around the earth. I'm interrupted by my child surfing when Sayori hands me a bowl of red soup. Surprise! Oh! Uh, that's definitely not the radish veggie soup from Genshin Impact. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, soup? I made it especially for you. Don't worry though, this is just to curve those nasty hunger pangs while we wait. Oh, that's very clever, Sayori. Thank you. Anything for you, Finn. Aww, everyone had to hold it as well. I like that. Something about the way she said that. <laughs> something about the way she said that makes my cheeks red as the soup. As Sayori happily skips away, I inspect the soup. She didn't say what it was. Yeah, I guess it's a red radish veggie soup, I guess. I'm going to guess it's tomato soup. Not my first choice for soup, but Sayori made it for me, right? I can't be mean to her. Of course, because she's a, she's a sweetheart, and I love her. 
After all, she's my best friend and I trust her. I happily enjoyed the soup as I watched the robots on TV beating each other up until... Wait. Why do I feel sleepy all of a sudden? What? I'm... Blacking out. I drop the empty ball as I slump forward, falling to the floor. I look up and see Sayori with a concerning grin on her face. What? What did you put in my soup? One bowl of my soup and you're mine now. What? My world fades into darkness as I feel sleep take me over. Sayori, what did you put in my soup? It better be not l lax laxatives? I don't know. What? Am I in a am I in a basement or Ugh. Where am I? Wait. This is my basement. Oh, oh we got a basement. Okay. I don't remember coming down here though. What's going on here? As I turn around, I'm hit with the sensation of vertigo. Ugh, my head. I lean against the nearest wall to avoid falling over. I'm jolted by the sound of the door opening. Sayori descends the stairs, I meet with the look of a predator in her eyes. Uh, Sayori, cinnamon bun, whatever you're doing, please tell me. Sayori? What's going on here? Why am I down here? Oh, you don't remember? You're mine now, Finn. Oh, I didn't know Sayori could be this... I don't know if masochistic is the right word or obsessive or something. I don't know. What are you talking about? Oh, Finn, don't you realize it? You and I were meant to be. We don't have to hide our feelings anymore. You're not making any sense, Sayori. Well, you see, I loved you for the longest time, Finn. More than you can even, even imagine. I... I was just too scared to ever say anything to you. Sayori... Whoa! I stumble back, nearly falling until Sayori takes me by the hand. You poor thing. Are you feeling dizzy? Well, yeah. After what you put in that soup. Sayori then puts her other hand on to my forehead. You're running a fever too. Don't worry, Finn. Nurse Sayori is going to take care of you. I doubt you ever been to medical school. You're just being silly, Finn. I don't need to go to school to know how to provide some tender love and care. She runs her fingers up my arms as she says that, sending shivers down my spine. This... this doesn't feel right. And yet... Now, come on. Let's get you to bed. You need plenty of rest or else you might start feeling even dizzier. That... that sounds nice. I start to feel... delirious. Sayori holding my hand guides me up the stairs. She carefully leads back, leads up, back up, making sure I don't stumble or trip. Why, why was I down here? I had to make sure you wouldn't run away, silly. I also had to make sure the special soup I made for you was super effective. Uh, soup? Shh. Sayori puts a finger to my lips. No more talking. Save your energy, Finn. Wait, before, when you said you love me? That's right, I do. I'm not going to hide my feelings anymore from you, Finn. I promise to take care of you for the rest of our lives. Okay, um, guys, look, I know, I know as much as I love Sayori, but this, this is just... I don't know what to say for for this. I I I feel kind of uncomfortable right now, but uh I have zero regrets sometimes, but still still I this is this is somewhat not okay in the least. Everything becomes a blur as Sayori leads me over to the stairs near the entrance. 
Like before, she carefully leads me up the stairs. I find myself in front of my bedroom door in no time. Sayori then leads me over to my bed, gently setting me down. After that, I feel my consciousness fade again. I hear Sayori giggle to herself. Looks like we looks like we'll need to get you into some comfy clothes so you can rest properly. I'm in and out of consciousness as I feel my jacket being pulled away and both my shirt and vest being pulled over my head. Before I know it, I already have a different shirt on as well as some comfortable pants. How did I? Before I know it, I'm completely out cold. Okay then. That's uh, it's un unexpected. Yeah. My head pops off my pillow as I jolt myself awake. The sunlight shines brightly in my eyes, peering through the curtains in my bedroom. What? What was all that? Was that a dream? I faintly remember Sayori saying she loved me. That has to be a dream. No way it could ever happen. I mean, we're just best friends after all. She's one of the most important people in my life, but there's no way she could ever fall for a guy like me. I mean, she makes fun of me for being a need and all. <laughs> Besides, someone like her could do better than me. Heck, someone like her deserves better than me. Someone like her could do a heck a lot better than me. Better than some loser like me. Why am I even thinking about it? Like, she's going to ever say she loves me anyway. Get your head out of the clouds already. As I try to get out of bed, that strange feeling of vertigo returns and I immediately stop myself. The room is spinning around and my head feels so foggy. I touch my hand to my forehead and sure enough, my fever remains. I look down and notice that I'm no longer in my uniform. I'm in some comfy clothes I wear around the house. Strange. I don't remember changing. As I get back into bed, I feel a shiver run down my spine and I quickly get under the covers. No doubt about it. I think I have a cold. I don't understand how though. It's not even cold and flu season. It's June for crying out loud. <laughs> Dang it, I have school today. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Of all the times this could happen, I can't just... I force myself to get out of bed again, but my shaky body resists me. No, I can't do this. I don't have a choice. I'm going to miss out today. I look at my nightstand and see a glass of water and some cold medicine. Almost as if they were waiting for me. I won't question it now. I take the cold medicine and water to water the wash out that glob awful taste. What? I don't know if I should go see a doctor. Then again, how did I even get there? I'm clearly in no shape for walking to the nearest clinic, let alone getting out of bed. Fan friggin' tastic. Oh, what am I going to do? It's not like I know anyone who can drive me there. Mom's out of town again. I don't think Sayori's mom is in town either. Natsuki's dad hates me. Yuri's mom is out of the question too. Maybe Monica's mom seems nice enough, but then her dad scares the heck out of me. Um, is there some sort of connection? I do not know about how MC met all of the other uh, club members' uh, um parents, but uh, again, this is just a call for help. Nothing else. Shut up. Ugh, I hate this. With nothing else to do, I just lay back in bed and close my eyes. I can already feel the cold medicine taking effect as I doze off in no time at all. I don't have a girlfriend right now, but that doesn't but that doesn't necessarily mean I don't have any experience with love at all. Well, even though uh, you're best friends with Sayori right now in this mod and all, but uh She'll take good care of you. I mean, there's nothing else to like tend to you, so I guess Nurse Sayori will be our uh, personal healthcare companion at the moment. 
Maybe I could get a girlfriend, but for now, I don't know if anyone would be able to put up with me. With my luck, my hypothetical girlfriend could get fed up with me and brand me a loser. It wouldn't be the first time after all. For now, I'm okay with not having to, to deal with the emotional drama of a relationship. I'm just a student after all. I don't need any more stress than I already have, right? Nope, stress is bad. Funny, my mom used to tell me I was so carefree and even brash when I was little, but I guess over time I changed. It's been said time can change people. The way they see the world, the way they feel about certain places or things, even people. Maybe that's what happened. For now, all I want is to have a nice, is to live a nice, quiet life. Finn? Are you up yet? Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Wait, Sayori's still there? Good morning. Intruder! Wait! Oh, 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 it is Sayori! Oh, thank glob! Oh, thank glob! <laughs> oh, I, uh, okay, okay, I nearly thought, I nearly thought it was someone else, but if it's someone else, then if it has to be Sayori, heck yeah. <laughs> I opened my eyes and I met with Sayori, and oh my, this music, it's... This is some good music, I'm not gonna lie. Dressed casually, she just gives me a confused stare as I point at her. She approaches me and puts her head on my forehead her hand on my forehead. You're still burning up, but not as bad. That's good. You had me worried there for a moment. Wait, what? I was afraid that I um never mind. Siori? Ugh. What time is it? It's a bit past noon. You've been sleeping for a long time. Looks like I'm not the only one who sleeps a lot, huh? Wait, what about school? I already took care of that. I called him myself. Wait, so then why are you still here? It's like I said before. Nurse Sayori is going to take extra good care of you. Aww! So she is our, like, um, our... Personal medic, uh, personal healthcare companion. After all, ah, well, she might as well be as be as adorable as Baymax, but still. <laughs> Sayori, she shouldn't be skipping school like this. My beloved is more important than anything school has for me. Wait, beloved. That fever must be taking a toll on you. If you already forgot, don't you remember? I confessed my love to you just before you fell asleep. All right, because well, the soup, of course. <laughs> okay, um, let's not dwell to that too much because well, as long as she's taking care of me and all that jazz, I'm fine with it. Cause well, she is indeed my personal healthcare companion after all. That wasn't a dream. <laughs> nope. You're not dreaming. I... I love you, Finn. I have for the longest time. I, could, I just couldn't ever bring myself to say anything. I... You're not joking? Nope. This is the true blue truth. Do you even know what that means? Of course I do. Now stop being s now stop being a smart Ale Alec and get back into bed. You need to you need to rest. You got me worried when you just passed out after having my delicious soup. You've been stressing yourself so much and now you have a cold. Is is that why? Is it the stress or the soup? I can't tell. That's why you need to rest. I'm going to take care of you all day today. Even longer if I need to. Everything is going to be fine. What about the club? Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, I already took care of that too. Monica understands. Something isn't adding up here. Why can't I remember certain things? I know Sayori would never lie to me, but... Dang it, 
think. Going back to early for just a moment here, you're not making any sense, Sayori. You love me? I honest to goodness love you, Finn. Are you just going to make me keep saying it? Seriously, stop being a tease. Aww. Oh well, I can tease you as many times as I like because you're such a cutie. Or maybe that fever, is, fever of yours is making you even more loopy than usual. What do you mean, more than usual, Sayori? You already act kind of clueless sometimes, you know. Hey. But I don't care about that. Honestly, I find that cute about you. I love you, Finn. You're my boyfriend, my soulmate, my fiancé. You're my everything. Fiance? Yo! Let's go! I never proposed to her. Well, in case if I get better, I'll definitely going to propose to her, alright? You must be hungry, right? I know you already skipped breakfast, but you still need to eat to keep up your strength. Well, Tommy is a happy Tommy, you know. I went out and got some things, so I'm going to make lunch for us, okay? I guess... I guess that'll work. Now, whatever you do, don't get out of bed. Since you're not feeling well, you need to stay put. Before any, before I could say anything else, Sayori skipped away happily, most likely heading to my kitchen. Don't burn the house down, you hear me? Got it. Okay, uh, let's review. I somehow caught a cold. Sayori is here taking care of me. Sayori sh says she's in love with me. None of this makes any sense. This sounds like some kind of event straight out of a film. <laughs> oh, oh, MC, buddy. Oh, breaking the fourth wall there, I see. <laughs> or s like something straight out of the dreams I banished from my head because they'll never come true. Gah, my head still hurts. Ugh. Something about this just feels off. Sayori, uh, sorry Sayori, it's not that I don't trust you, but something is going on here and I need to get to the bottom of this. I look over to my nightstand again and see my phone rest next to the my now empty glass. I know Sayori said she already spoke with Monica, but maybe I could talk to her myself just to confirm a few things. I hope she doesn't hear me from here. I try to unlock the phone with my fingerprint, but it doesn't seem to work. Strange. Why won't it unlock? Maybe it's not working right. And again, my hands seem to be rather sweaty. Okay, fine. I'll just use the passcode. I punch in the numbers and... Success! I figured she's in class, so I shoot her a quick text. Hey, Monica. I know you already talked to Sayori, but I just want wanted to check in with you about the club. I'm also a bit concerned about her. Maybe it's just the parano paranoia kicking in, but I decide to send similar texts to Natsuki and Yuri as well. I also ask them if they notice some anything strange about Sayori. As I finish my text to Yuri, Sayori comes in with a tray. I quickly hide my phone under my covers. Dum da da da! Oh! Oh, it's the... Um... Hopefully there's not something in that soup this time, and that rice just looks good, and... Okay, I don't know why, but, uh... Seeing her holding the, uh, the, the tray just doesn't look right. I mean, her thumbs are backwards. Ah, uh, well, if I'm going to do a review on this, that would be a story for another day. Let's just say, say that. Some chicken soup with rice to start things off for you. Hmm? Why do you look like you've got some little secret? What are you talking about? You just caught me by surprise with that entrance, that's all. Oh, alright. Sorry for scaring you. Anyway, this will help make the awful cold go away and help hold your tummy over while I finish up lunch. Eat up, Finn. Thank you, Sayori. Always glad to help. Now don't go anywhere, Finn. Oh, she's uh. Oh, that's cute. Uh, she's uh, she's trotting or something. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a um a Sayori quest re uh, reference there. 
She happily humps to herself as she leaves my room. Well, she went through the effort to make me chicken soup, so I might as well enjoy it, right? After finishing the soup, I check the time on my phone. It's 3 o'clock now. I check my phone for any new messages. Nothing. Monica, I can maybe understand, but I have expected at least Natsuki to give me a quick answer. Something isn't right here. This whole thing reeks of suspicion, but what do I do? While I feel this is my childhood friend, something is just completely off about her. She's never aggressively shown so much passion towards me. In general, she's not acting like herself at all. I can't help but deep I feel deeply concerned for her, but how uh, but how handle this? I already tried asking her, but she denied everything. Even then, I don't want to hurt her feelings by being so pushy. Maybe I should pop in on her and see how she's doing. The fact I never saw the signs of her depression still haunts me. I can't afford to make the mistake again. I want to be there to support her. In any case, she probably won't see like seeing me out of bed, so maybe I should take the stealthy approach. Wait, what? We're going out of bed? Well, I don't know how that goes, but uh, I'm sorry fellow knights, but that's it for this episode. But don't you guys worry. Likewise, there will always be another episode. Man, first off, right out the bat, we ate the soup, we... We, we are in the basement, and uh, Sayori, I don't know what kind of um, what kind of thing she just put in that soup. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not laxatives. I don't know. I don't know um, chemicals and stuff all that much, but still, that is just that is just weird and unexpected and such. But as much as I love Sayori and all, but this this is just making me slightly uncomfortable and all that jazz. But man, um, man. Oh, cannot wait what happens in the next one. So uh, we're just going to leave it at that. So if you guys enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And also if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the, in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.